Hi everyone, it's Susie with you and today I am making my very very first video in YouTube. You would ask what is the video about? Well, this channel is for me to share all, all my knowledge that I'm getting about computer science and the university with you guys. I am a freshman currently studying data science in American University of Armenia. So my very first video will be about the very first concept I was introduced to in this class, which is the binary system. So what is binary system? Hmm. Doesn't ring a bell. Well, it didn't ring a bell to me too, but this video is for us to remember and learn it all together. So binary, the word itself gives a clue. Bi means two, which means that there are two concepts or two things in this system. And that is true because we have two numbers, which is one and zero, and we have two states to represent with those numbers. Okay, let's talk about a more relatable example. Let's say you are going to a party. So you went to a party and you're not dancing. So how can we describe your state by the means of dancing? We can call it a zero because there is no action done by you. And if you start dancing, your state will change to an on mode, which will be represented by one. So here we have one U and two states that are represented by two numbers dancing one and not dancing zero. So that is how the binary system works. And with more people, let's say there is you and your friend, there will be two to the second power of states that can be represented. So there is four states. First state is when both of you are not dancing. Second state is when you are dancing and your friend is not. Third state is when you are not dancing and your friend is. And fourth state is when both of you are dancing. You saw that with one person, we represented two to the first power of states. And with two people, we represented two to the second power of states. So what's the logic? How much people would we need to represent 16 states? Four. 2 to the 4th power is 16. So that is how it works. Binary system is also called the two-base system. And on the opposite of that, we have another system called 10-base system or the decimal system. This is the system we use every day, counting and writing numbers. So we use the digits from 0 to 9 to represent numbers in this system. And how do we do that? Let's say we have the number 564. This is a number represented by a decimal system. Every digit at this number has its own place. So 4 is standing at the 1's place, 6 is at the 10's, 10's place, and 5 is at the 100's place. So to figure out how this whole number from three digits is made into the 564 number, we do this. Starting from right to left, we assign to each place a number. So the first will be the zero place and one and then two. And then we multiply each digit of the number by 10 to the n power where n represents the place they are at. So four times 10 to the zero power, six times 10 to the first power and five times 10 to the second power. The same works for the binary system with one difference. Instead of using 10 to the n power, we use 2 to the n power. So for representing this six digit binary number, we'll go 1 times 2 to the 0 power plus 0 times 2 to the first power plus 0 times 2 to the second power plus 1 times 2 to the third power plus 0 times 2 to the fourth power plus 1 times 2 to the fifth power. 
and by adding all that we will get the number 41. So I hope you got something from this lesson and I hope you'll use binary system in your near future because it is the base of coding and coding is the base of the future life. I was happy to help. Forever yours, Susie. See ya!